in this session i'll be going to continue with those examples which is there with meshan's gain formula so here we have signal flow graph and in this session we are going to solve examples based on the signal flow graph so let us begin solution of this example so here we have the signal flow graph and in that first part of this signal flow graph is to solve forward path so here if we see the signal flow graph then one forward path that we can say which is going from input to output from cs rs to cs that is been given by this path which is what i am tracing right now so this is the path which is what first forward path that we can say and this forward path is g1 g5 g6 g7 and g8 so first forward path with this f1 is equals to g1 g5 g6 g7 and g8 so this is first forward path now second forward path with the signal flow graph is from g1 to g2 to g3 to g4 to g8 so this is second forward path which we can see it in this figure so let us write this second forward path so that is f2 and that is equals to g1 to g2 to g3 to g4 to g8 so there are two forward path which is there with this signal flow graph and i don't find any more forward path which is there with this signal flow graph now <clears throat> let us have second step which is what single loops so if we see this in that case we can find some individual closed loop first of all so in this i can clearly see one closed loop is this so this is one closed loop which we can see in this so that closed loop let us say that is l1 so that will be g6 into minus h6 so first closed loop let us say l1 so that is minus g6 h6 and if we see second closed loop with this complete system of signal flow graph then that is this so this closed loop explains g3 into minus h3 so that is minus g3 h3 so second closed loop second single closed loop that is minus g3 h3 now we are delivered to identify non touching loops so if we see this signal flow graph then this two only closed loop and which are non touching to each other so we can say these two loops are non touching to each other so if i say notation for that is l1 dash then that is l1 l2 and that will be minus minus plus so that will be g3 g6 h3 h6 so these are two non touching loop which is there with each other now next step is to calculate delta so for a calculation of delta basic formula for that is 1 minus summation of single loops plus summation of two non touching loops and minus summation of three non touching loop but in our case we don't have three non touching loop so we don't need to go further for calculation and this could be calculated by 1 minus 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 will get plus and here this will be summation of l1 and l2 so we can say l1 plus l2 plus this will be two non touching loop that is l1 dash so we can say that is what l1 dash so that will be 1 minus minus will get plus and that will be g3 h3 plus g6 h6 plus l1 dash that is 
G3, G6, H3, H6. So that is how we can have a calculation of delta. Now next step is to have a calculation of delta 1. So for delta 1 calculation, we need to see a calculation by 1 minus summation of single loop non-touching to F1 and if we say which loop is not touching to F1 here we can see this is what F1 path so to this path this loop is not touching so we need to have 1 minus this loop only so that will be 1 minus 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 will get plus and that is G3 H3 and for delta 2 calculation 1 minus summation of single loop not touching F2 and here we have this is what F2 with that this loop is not touching so this will be 1 minus this will be 1 minus minus G6 H6 so if we place that value in this so that will be 1 minus minus plus G6 H6 so we have delta 1 and delta 2 now so now based on these values of F1, F2 delta and delta 1, delta 2 we can calculate transfer function and that transfer function that is output which is what Cs divided by input that is Rs is equals to F1 delta 1 plus F2 delta 2 divided by delta and we have F1 that we have calculated G1, G5, G6, G7, G8 so G1, G5, G6, G7, G8 into delta 1 and delta 1 that we have calculated by 1 plus G3 H, G3 H3 so that will be 1 plus G3 H3 plus F2 and that is G1, G2, G3, G4, G8 so F2 that is G1, G2, G3, G4, G8 into delta 2 and that delta 2 is 1 plus G6 H6 so that is 1 plus G6 H6 divided by delta and that delta we have calculated by 1 plus G3 H3 G6 H6 plus G3 H G6 H3 H6 so if we place this value you can say this is what 1 plus G3 H3 plus G6 H6 plus G3 G6 H3 H6 so this is the transfer function which is what we have based on a calculation of Machen's gain formula for a solution of signal flow graph. Thank you so much for watching this video. In next video, I will be solving few more questions regarding signal flow graph. So that will give you better understanding how to solve Machen's gain formula for a transfer function of signal flow graph. Thank you so much for watching this video.